What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's video guide I'm going to be showing you how to get the unique Archmage robes at level 1. This is going to be a great tip if you're starting a new mage type character and you want to kickstart your character build. Now this method can only be done if you have the unofficial Skyrim patch mod installed. It's a mod I recommend installing anyway, because it fixes lots of bugs in the game. It's available on PS4, Xbox One and also PC. But even if you don't have that mod guys, this is still a method that you can use to get some powerful unique boots with 40% shock resistance and also a staff of summoned frost atronaut, which is in my opinion the best staff you can get for a low level mage, and I'll tell you why later. But now let's get on with this guide. Once you've installed the unofficial patch mod, you must head over to the College of Winterhold in the far north of Skyrim, here on the map. So obviously to save you walking here, you can instead just get the carriage outside of Whiterun to take you to Winterhold, and that's the fastest way to get there at an early level. Once you're inside the college, the first quest that you'll be given to do is called First Lesson. Now this is really easy, you literally just need to demonstrate a ward spell, which Vald will actually teach you anyway if you don't know it yet. So you just stand there with your ward spell, he attacks you with a fire spell and then that's it, first lesson over. After the lesson he's going to give you the next quest. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthol nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. So the next quest is called Under Sarthal. You can find Sarthal just here on the Good map southwest from the College of Winterhold. This next quest is very easy, the game pretty much holds your hand through the entire dungeon. Upon completion though, you'll find this no mysterious this artifact and then you'll Absolutely be sent back amazing. to the college to speak the with the Archmage himself. So now we're going to fast travel back to the College of Winterhold and head on inside. Just go upstairs until you reach the Archmage's quarters. If you had tried to come here without doing these two quests, you would have found that the quarters is actually locked, but now it's going to be unlocked because we've done those two starter quests. So once you're in the Archmage's quarters, you can, you can talk to the Archmage himself and can complete the quest anytime you like and you can come back here anytime as well. But we are instead just going to find the Archmage robes over here on the bedside table. Now as I said before guys, these robes specifically will only be here if you have the unofficial patch mod installed. The enchantment on these robes is actually slightly different to the Archmage robes you get when you complete the entire Mage Guild questline, which is rather confusing because they have the exact same name, but they're slightly different. So as you can see, these robes have a 15% reduction to any spells you cast, which is so useful, especially at later levels when you're using high cost magicka spells. You'll be able to cast more spells without running out of magicka. It's also going to give us 100% faster magicka regeneration, which is of course the best you can have at level 1. But the difference is that these Archmage robes do not give you plus 50 magicka as well. But as you can see, when I put them on, this version doesn't have a hood. So you can actually just put on your own enchanted hood, like this one I'm going to use here. Or you can even put on a heavy helmet or a light helmet, whatever you want. So you could even say that this version is arguably better, because it allows for more customization. So for example guys, you can enchant your own hood using the dual enchanting perk found in the enchanting skill tree to give it fortify destruction and plus 50 magicka as well to make an even more powerful combo than you'd originally get with just the standard archmage robes. 
So like I say, arguably you can say that these Archmage robes are even better than the ones you get at the end of the quest line. Anyway, you get the idea. But now guys, if you come over here, there is firstly a Dwarven Dagger you can get here just in the display case. You probably won't need or use this, but it's one of the better daggers available at this level if you do. And then, most importantly, we have the unique Archmage boots. And these boots have a 40% resistance to shock, which is pretty powerful, especially when you're fighting Thalmor, which you'll find useful in the Mage Guild questline and the main questline in Skyrim as well. But apart from this, there are only certain situations in the game where they're really going to be of any use to you, because shock damage is the least common type of elemental damage in Skyrim. But next, if you come over here, you'll find the Staff of Summon Frost Atronol. And as I said earlier guys, this is so useful for a low level mage, because you can simply summon the Frost Atronol, which has a health of 400, and then it acts as a massive tank to block and absorb all the damage and just distracts all your foes as well, while you spam loads of spells at them. It also has a permanent Frost Cloak ability, so the longer it's there, the more damage it will do over time. Now depending if you are going for an Ice or a Fire Mage build, I would suggest now watching my guide on how to do 3000 damage with your spells, and I'll leave a link to that video guide in the description below, just so you can take this build further. But my channel is pretty much based on Skyrim, so if you want more guides, make sure you smash that subscribe button, and then just hit that little bell icon next to it. This will ensure that you're the first to know when I make a new video and it gets released. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter for behind the scene photos. And the links for that are down below in the description guys. But thanks very much for watching, me ESO and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Skyrim video guide. So have a fantastic day and goodbye.